back here with Pastor Dave, and we're discussing the sermon from Sunday on transitions. Uh, Dave, at our uh, men's meeting on Tuesday night, our good friend Mark, mm. Mark Fisher, uh, when asked his take on, on the things going on right now around the world, he used an image of, of the walls closing in everywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. He talked about a river how uh, when the walls close in on a canyon, mm -hmm. the river's going through it, it just rushes faster and faster and faster. And, um, it, uh, it really matched for me what I see going on uh, in the world around us of confusion and, and uh, the cycle of confusion and fear and, and uh, chaos and, and, then, and then people accepting the chaos and then, and then looking somewhere for orientation. Uh, looking for a, a, a dear leader type or mm -hmm. looking for, uh, you know, uh, some way to make sense and then grabbing on to things that aren't even true sometimes, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, to, to, to get the fear down to a level of being managed. Um, do, are you seeing that in today's world too? Yeah, that image is incredibly powerful because thinking like the walls of a canyon, it was like, he was talking about, like you said, the whole world. And that means like there wasn't, in his image, there wasn't places where people weren't experiencing that. And it, it was that everyone was experiencing the same like, cre like pressure and, and it was forcing everything through faster and faster and faster, but I, I, it was everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And there wasn't some people who were just sitting off on the bluffs or something, <laughs> watching the rest of us, you know, fly down. Uh, I went for a walk yesterday with, with all three of my kids um, to give Lisa, a minute to breathe and um, we were coming back around uh, to the house and we ran into our neighbor our neighbor Bob and and Lisa and I are, are probably the youngest um, people uh, you know in in a house on our street in that neighborhood and uh, and many of our neighbors um, are the age of our parents um, and older and have kids you know our age have, have their own kids that come visit their grandkids. So I was talking to Bob and he is of, of my parents and almost kind of m moving to our grandparents' generation. Um, and he's a Christian and he is a, he's, a, he's a kind of an elder, I think, at his church. And we were talking about, you know, you, I don't know, you see your neighbor and you're just like, you know, hey, so <laughs> how you doing, right? Like that acknowledgement that this is just, everything's crazy, right? That was the first thing. We just kind of look at each other like, I'm like, how you holding up? You know, he's like, how you holding up? You know, like, this is wild, you know, and we're just sharing stories of whatever was the last few days of the news cycle, whatever was just completely disorienting, whatever the newest thing was, right? And, you know, generationally, it was just like, we we're all just being pressed in the exact same place. And, and what, was, what was incredible about it was I'm trying to be sensitive to, you know, who I'm talking to or, you know, especially a neighbor you don't, maybe don't know so well, they might be clinging to something and, I don't want to step on their feet before <laughs> before I mean to or or smash their fingers that they're holding onto a rock and I <laughs> so like I'm kind of like trying to listen yeah how, well how are you how are you guys getting through it at your church you know he goes to a church a thousand people um, and he starts saying like you know our pastor is saying like this isn't a time for old forms this mm -hmm. isn't a time to cling on to I mean literally use that language this isn't a time to cling on to our building this isn't a time to cling on to all these like things we're used to. This is a time to hold on to the Lord. Mm. And I'm hearing like this guy like <laughs> say something that resonates so deeply with my heart. And we're totally different generationally, you know, whatever, you know, all these different things. But we're in the exact same situation, this global situation of pressure. We're acknowledging how crazy everything is. We're talking about schools and returning and me as a teacher, all sorts of things. But he was talking about how he and these other Christians he serves with and his pastor were, were in this place where it was like, we don't need to try to go back to this. We, we, we could, he was like, our pastor was saying, you know what, if we end up with 100 people at the end of this who want to hold on to Jesus, mm. um, and the rest just were here because we had a really nice building, <laughs> you know, like they're facing that reality with wow. an overhead and stuff that, you know, is just to scale, you know. And I was so, like, mm. it was so refreshing to my heart to hear someone at a different place, you know, again, generationally or whatever, talking about 
how, the only way we're going to get through this is with Jesus mm -hmm. and in his words and no one knows what it'll look like yeah except that the only way to get through this is with Jesus but he was naming the things it it might not look like and that those were the things he was he and the people that he serves with wanted to be careful not to cling on to mm. and I thought I mean it was just like he just ministered to me it was just yeah. such a clear clear-sighted way of getting through this extraordinary pressurized disorienting moment um, with the acknowledgement that we may have to let go of the very things that have defined how we've met with the Lord yes. to this point. And it just, thinking of our passage, thinking of the temple, thinking of the forms, it was exactly that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, But it was spelled out by somebody else yes. as I'm just walking home. And I thought, man, this is, the Lord is speaking to yes. His people in this moment. And those who have ears to hear are hearing not a lot of clarity except Jesus. Yeah. And that's what that's what we talked about for like 15, 20 minutes. That's awesome. <laughs> so I was, me and Bob, man, that was, it was a great conversation. I was really encouraged. That is really encouraging yeah. to hear it starting to spread like yeah. that. That's awesome. All right. Thanks, Dave.